Okay, we're back to program this thing now. Um, the hard work is over. I mean, it's it's pretty simple from this point on. There's a couple specifics that you know for non-stacked carving uh, can get a little confusing, but it's actually pretty easy. Okay, so as you remember, we we went under variables, document variables, and we got two numbers in there: top depth and bottle depth. Point one, point one. Okay. Here's how we do this. So we're going to go to vCarve. I got vCarving set up. You don't have to select any of these vectors, any of this stuff on your, you don't have to select anything like you normally vCarve with. Because we're going to use the um, manual selector. So for your depth, and this is to do the top, you know, imagine you're going to carve this, then all that stuff on the top is going to get carved completely out first. Your flat depth. This is where it gets kind of easy. You're going to right click and you're going to use that TD. That's your top depth. And that's it for that. And you want to select, you use this vector selection button. Actually, I'm going to highlight on it. I don't know if you can see it. There we go. There's a little flashing down there. This is the one you want to use selector and this window is going to pop up now we want to carve everything we don't want to carve this outside border we want to carve the inside border that we made the inner border in between the inner border and top text so we like that I selected closed vectors which all closed vectors you know selected layers only is what you want to do selected layers only inner border top text close it's gonna highlight it's showing you roughly what it's doing as you can see it's not doing anything with Myers everything that's highlighted is the inner border and Cody and Laura and the the names of the children and the established date and we've already put once you hit and we're using a clearance tool okay so it's going to give you two tool paths because or two tool paths one for roughing and one for finish essentially so we're gonna hit calculate and it's gonna bring up our window okay I'm really liking how that's looking so for I guess drama purposes or whatever we're gonna run each one at a time so preview that visibly tool path right there's your your uh, 0.25 end mill passes just kinda of hogs it out and then you're gonna follow up with the 60 degree v-bit and we're gonna preview that toolpath and then you can see it going in there and really cleaning it up nice and putting the the names of the children in so that's pretty sweet and I'm liking it okay then the next run you actually don't have to use this screen to do it once those the variables are in there you're good to go but for teaching purposes I guess we'll do it this way so now we're gonna v-carve again now this is the one real huge issue your flat depth is going to be TD and you're going to manually put in a plus sign and you can right click and select BD top depth plus bottom depth and we're going to use this manual selector again now we want to do the inner border with bottom text and you see what it's done you can see the stuff that's not going to get carved and here you go calculate and now you're going to see this thing like coming together so it's going to come down it's going to we're going to preview this visible toolpath there's your end mill bit hogging out and not touching any of those other letters on the top it's just starting to form Myers then you're going to follow up with the finish bit visible tool paths there's your 60 degree end mill cleaning it all up nice so there you go now you got your look now you got Myers hovering in the background you got Cody and Laura on top and the kids names and everything else in there now of course I'm going to paint this but you already can see how this is done. 
and I'm really liking it. Now I'm going to add one more thing to this. Actually, a couple things, but um, to really you know make it you know pop or whatever whatever term you want to use. Um, I, I do like. I would like to change this outer. I just want to round this is what it comes down to. Um, I'm going to rad radius those corners just a half inch. There you go. You know, just round off those corners. That's kind of cool. And let's go ahead and we're going to figure on a one inch. I'm going to cut this thing out. Let's profile it. We're going to use the end mill to cut it at one inch. And that's a one eighth end mill. We got to change the bit. We're going to cut it out with a 0.25. And we're going to go outside. I'm going to call that cut out. And there we go. And there you go. There's the machine cutting it out. So there's the actual look. Now, of course, I'm going to put a sweet paint job on it. But that looks really nice. I really like it. Okay. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to add texturing. Now, to texture is just kind of like V-carving. Um, we know that the bottom depth is 0 0.2 because TD is 0.1 and BD is 0.1 so add those two together and you got 0.2 so what we're gonna do I don't need to well I guess I could manually select these but I'm, I'm just gonna do it by hand alright so what we're gonna do is we're gonna select all these borders and here's the biggest reason for putting those offsets around those letters this is the real reason I did it is because I can highlight those There we go. And and then highlight all my letters up here. That way it's going to move around everything. Oh great. I I deselected this computer is very very touchy. So I'm just going to Oh, don't move that. Okay, try this again. There we go. There we go. I clearly got two vectors on there, but that's that's okay. Um, let's just select. All right, select all, and stuff that's inside those vectors I don't know why that's not selecting it hang on we'll do this on the next video um, I'll get this figured out and I'll show you I, I think it's because I have two separate vectors in there I only got a couple minutes left on this video um, I think I need to unselect nope can't do that alright we'll cover on the next video I'll see you in a minute